The NTSB has wrapped up its investigation into the ship that capsized off the coast of Georgia. The Golden Ray sank in 2019, leaving hundreds of millions in damages. A new report says the accident was preventable. News Edge reporter Eric Perry has the latest. Officials tell me this was a slow and meticulous investigation as they wanted to be 100% sure. Ultimately, I'm told human error is to blame. This accident comes down to uh, the stability of the vessel. After two year investigation, the National Transportation Safety Board has released their findings into the Golden Ray incident. In this case, it came down to in incorrect calculations by the personal the person on board who was responsible for calculating stability. The Golden Ray capsized in September of 2019 as it departed from the port of Brunswick, heading to Baltimore, Maryland. Liam LaRue is the chief of marine investigations with the NTSB and says those incorrect calculations and lack of training caused massive destruction and danger. He made uh, some, some improper entries into the system and uh, it, the system told him that he, he met stability, but um, the investigation found that the vessel did not meet international stability regulations when it departed port that day. The accident caused nearly $200 million in damage and 41 vehicles on board were lost. All crew members were saved. Four were in critical condition after being trapped on board the ship for nearly 40 hours. And officials say there were threats to the environment. Another issue found watertight doors were left open. LaRue says this caused water to quickly pour down into the vessel. As the NTSB investigation concludes, LaRue says there are two recommendations. The first recommendation was to improve their safety management system processes for reviewing stability calculations. The second recommendation is to make sure all watertight doors are properly closed before the ship departs. And the findings and recommendations have been presented to G Marine. That is the company that owns the vessel. Right now, the cleanup continues for that vessel. Eric Perry, Fox 5 News.